Let's hear it for the class of 2021. That's a good audience. Audience and graduates, you may be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the commencement ceremony for our Northwest High School graduating class, the class of 2021. My name is Carrie Jackson. I'm principal of the Northwest High School. And on behalf of this class, I welcome family members, friends, students, staff, and our superintendent, Dr. Ryder Warren, and our board of trustees to this commencement ceremony. At this time, please help me welcome our senior class president, Mariah Maldonado, to lead our opening remarks. Good morning, everyone. I'd like to start off by saying how grateful I am to be here today. Last year's events have shown us that nothing is promised and we are so lucky to be graduating in person and on time. <laughs> on behalf of my peers, thank you to everyone that has joined us today. You have helped us so much as we grew into our lives up into this point and will continue to do so as we move forward into our futures as young adults. As for my class, congratulations. The class of 2021 is the strongest class that has ever passed through Northwest High School. We have pushed through the trials of this difficult, unprecedented time and have managed to not only get through it, but to come out the end even more powerful than before. I hope that you all recognize the importance of this ceremony as it represents all of our hard work for the past 13 years spent in school. Seniors, please take this day to celebrate all of our accomplishments. We deserve it. I messed up. Now, I would like to introduce our class treasurer, Carther Gatlin, and our class parliamentarian, Abby Sweeney, as they lead us in the pledges. Please stand and join us in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with the liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Now please remain standing for our national anthem.
You may be seated. At this time, I would like to introduce our distinguished guests. First, please let, help me welcome Northwest ISD Superintendent, Dr. Ryder Warren. Our NISD board members, our board president, Dr. Ann Davis Simpson. Board vice president, Steve Sproles. Board secretary, Dr. Lillian Rausch. Board member, Judy Kopp. Board member, Deanne Hatfield. Board member, Jennifer Murphy. And board member, Mark Schluter. Also with us today, we have the NISD Superintendent's Executive Cabinet. Dr. Kim Cayley, Assistant Superintendent for Human Resources. Brian Carter, Chief Financial Officer. Dr. Michael Grippen, Assistant Superintendent for Curriculum and Instruction. Christy Hobbs, General Counsel. Tim McClure, Assistant Superintendent for S Facilities. And Leslie Weaver, Executive Director for Communications. Thank you for attending today's ceremony. Today, there is a special Northwest High School administrative group who are working and already standing that I would like to recognize. Our associate principal, Dr. Cindy Botter. And assistant principals, Ryan Barnhart, Shannon Boudreau, Ruben Dominguez, David James, and Jennifer Railsback. Our Texan counseling team has served and loved our students well. Please help me recognize lead counselor, Natalie Edelman, Ashley Gaither, Emily Gentry, Jessica Wallace, Kelly Wallace, intervention counselor, Daniela Bermia, and attendance counselor, Rachel Walker. Our Texan faculty has met a host of challenges head on this year, many of them juggling multiple teaching modalities, multiple grade books to manage, and balancing attention between in-person learners and remote learners. You don't hear about how difficult this is because these people will never tell you. They just continue to love kids and do their jobs very, very well. Would every member of our Texan faculty please stand and be recognized at this time? Friends, you look beautiful. And now, as well we should, we turn our attention to our graduating class. Class of 2021, it has been a joy to get to know you and watch your many successes this year. You've overcome enormous challenges, adapted to unanticipated and unwanted change, and thrived despite adversity that some of us have seen and heard and some that we'll never know or understand. You're great leaders and resilient people with servant hearts, and Northwest High School is a better place because of you. Class of 2021, please help me welcome your senior class president, Madison Lucky, as she delivers her final message to the class of 2021. For the last four years, we got to experience what it's like to be a Northwest Texan. From the Friday night games, pep rallies, to late night concerts and shows, we have grown to be a part of the traditions that make this community great. Many of us have been looking forward to this year, a final year to look back on all the experiences and close this chapter to move forward. Now, I know I won't be the first to say this, but this year has been interesting to say the least. Things didn't go exactly as expected. However, if there is anything I have learned in life, there is always a bigger fish, as life is full of its challenges. From being stuck on traffic on I-35 to snowmageddon, we will always be thrown the unexpected. But what we learn from our experiences give us the knowledge for a better today. Speaking of today, it's important to acknowledge those who have been there throughout it all. For me, it would be my immediate family. To my mom and my sister, Devin, Thank you for always believing in me, especially when I didn't believe in myself. I would also like to thank my close friends and family. I love you all, and I'm so very grateful you could be here today. 
Without these people, I know I wouldn't be the person I am today. Now, that was all that has changed within our world. It may seem as though we missed out on our senior year, but in my opinion, I feel we got a better experience for the better. This year gave us the chance to adapt and persevere despite the odds. From the start of our lives, we have lived in such a highly saturated world that continuously tries to define who we are. But when faced with the global pandemic and all the adversities that come with that, we defied the odds. Whether through discovering a new passion or speaking out against injustices, we exemplified what it means to be the generation of change. And we've merely just begun. Today, we go our separate ways into the future ahead of us. As we do so, continue to be passionate and stand up for what you believe in. As Grandmaster Yoda once said, do or do not, there is no try. So do be the change you want to see and continue to show the world what the Northwest class of 2021 is made of. Thank you. A special tradition at Northwest High School is for our valedictorian and salutatorian to select a teacher to introduce them at our graduation ceremony. We ask them to select a teacher who knows them a little better than the average person. Our salutatorian has chosen one of our science teachers. Please help me welcome Ms. Kim Hendricks. Hey guys. Today we celebrate the academic accomplishments of the Texan nation. Academic success has many challenges. Core subjects, athletics, music, the arts, community leadership, all work together to grow strong minds and lifelong learners. The Northwest High School salutatorian has met all these challenges with her head held high and a focus on success at the highest level. She is an outstanding student with a keen mind and a love of learning. However, she is so much more than her report card. She possesses a gentleness and kindness that fills the classroom. She asks high level questions that push this teacher to work hard and uncover answers, while at the same time, she was always willing to work with her classmates and help with their understanding. This helps bring everyone into the learning process. Not only does she lead in the classroom, she has a fair way of leading in outside courses. She takes tea time for her passion, golf with her family, as she is a chip off the old block. Fourth place at the UIL State Golf Championship at the beginning of the month, and now graduating as your salutatorian. I look forward to following her as she drives to new exciting challenges. It is my honor to introduce the Northwest High School Class of 2021 Salutatorian, Ms. J.C. Fields. Hello, my name is Jacqueline but most of y'all probably know me as J.C. Fields, and I could not be more proud to be Northwest Class of 2021 Salutatorian. To start, I would like to thank the top 10 students sitting up here on the stage with me for pushing me to work harder every day. I would like to thank my best friends and sisters, Avery and Staley, and my whole family for understanding that sometimes I have to do homework while we are together to prepare for that next test. I would like to thank my teachers for putting up with all the questions that I ask on an everyday basis. Specifically, I would like to thank Ms. Humphrey, my fifth grade teacher, for being a great role model. Ms. Freeby, my sixth grade teacher, for being my biggest supporter. Ms. Zimmer, my eighth grade teacher, for being an awesome teacher and friend. Coach Franklin and Coach Cagle for being the best coaches. Miss Sprinkle for making me laugh every day. 
Coach Schindler, Miss Wade, Miss Eberhardt, and Miss Hendricks for always being there for me. I was new to Northwest my sophomore year, so I would like to thank Kylie Yardbro, Caden Barnett, Keegan McGee, Isaac Bowles, and anyone else I am forgetting for making me feel welcome here at Northwest. We may not have hung out after school, but knowing that y'all would take the time to talk to me always made me feel welcome. I would like to thank, and lastly, I would like to thank the three most influential people in my life, my parents and my savior. I thank God for making it part of his plan for me to be in front of y'all speaking today. And lastly, but certainly not least, I would like to thank my own parents. I know that I would not be who I am today if it had not been for my parents pushing me and telling me to be a better person and preparing me for life outside of high school and their household. They have always been my biggest supporters and have always had my best interest at heart. And I hope they know that I have appreciated everything they have done for me. So class of 2021, now on to what we came here for, my speech. Due to me being voted most likely to succeed in our senior superlatives, I thought it would be only fitting that I tell you, class of 2021, the top two things that I think it takes to be successful in life. Now, to be clear, everyone's success is different. My success is very different from anyone sitting in this stadium today. Some may want to go to college and earn a degree. Some may want to be president of the United States and some may just want to have a family. Whatever your success is, these two tips will apply to all. Number one, set goals. I know that some of y'all are just rolling your eyes because you've heard this one before, but let me tell you, setting goals works. They work when you achieve those goals, and they especially work when you don't achieve those goals. I speak from experience when I say unachieved goals can be a good thing. When I was a little girl, I went to a graduation and saw the valedictorian give her speech, and I knew from that point on that is what I wanted to be. I'd set my goal of becoming valedictorian. Now, I know some of y'all are thinking, wait, isn't she our salutatorian? Yes, I am, and I'm getting to that. So when I got to high school, most freshmen have no idea what the heck they're doing and run around like chickens with their head cut off, but not me. I knew exactly what I wanted to do, and I set to work. At semester, I was awarded with being ranked number one, then again at the end of the year, and I was one step closer to achieving my goal. Then, as I had said before, I moved to Northwest at the start of my sophomore year, so I had to basically start over. I worked diligently all year and was awarded with the same result. Then I did the same thing my junior year, and again the first semester of my senior year. Then came the devastating news that my goal that I had set since I was a little girl had no chance of coming true. I was crushed. I questioned every decision I had made regarding school up until that point, wondering what I had done wrong. After a couple of days, I came to realize that I did nothing wrong. That is just how the cards fell. This was God's plan. As I look back on it now, I want y'all to know that I would not take back any of what I did if I knew what was going to happen. I gave up all my lunches, all my free time, did two to three hours of homework every day, stayed up until 11 or 12 at night, trying to prepare for that next test, and I would do it all again. Even though I had not achieved the goal that I wanted to, I am still very happy with the result. Having a goal forced me to focus all my time and energy into something that is productive and something that I wanted to achieve. I had a purpose and a reason to do everything I did. I did not just wander aimlessly through high school, waiting to be picked up by the kids that had dropped out and are not going to achieve anything with their life. I had a prize and my eyes were fixed on it. I know that I had not achieved what I wanted, but I know that it has made me a better person and I will reap the benefits of my hard work in the future. So class of 2021, set goals and set the goals that you want to achieve. I know that spending that much time and energy on homework sounds awful to most people. I mean, some of y'all probably didn't even spend three hours on homework all year. Some of y'all may be thinking it's too late and I have no idea what goals I'm going to set. First, it is never too late. Just start now. 
and if you don't know where to start, start with a mini goal for a couple of months away. It doesn't have to be years in advance like mine. Choose whatever works for you, but actually do it. It will give your mind, body, and soul something to work towards, and this leads to success. The second key to success is to pay attention to who you surround yourself with. I have heard multiple times, show me your friends and I will show you your future. This could not be any closer to the truth. We become an average of the people that surround us. The people we hang out with become our culture and who we decide to be. If you wanna be successful, you need to find that those people that have the same goals and drive that you do. Those friends that are yes men, as I like to call them, are not your friends. The ones that don't call you out when you are doing something wrong and don't push you every day, those people need to go. Successful people have a starvation inside them, and if you're only hungry, if your friends are only hungry, that hurts you. I know this may sound harsh, but successful people have no choice. You have to create the right situations and environment to help your growth. Surround yourself with lions, the ones that are better than you. This will force you to get better. Find that group of people that excel at you want to do and hang around them. These people are going to bring out the greater self within you. To take from Trent Shelton, a motivational speaker, every day there is a battle between the lesser self and the greater self. Which one are you going to let win today? The greater self is the one that leads you to success. And the lesser self is the one that takes you off your path to success. By setting up the right environment with the people around you, you are putting your greater self at an advantage at winning that day. But every day is different, and you have to fight each day to keep that lesser self at bay. And let God help you. You do not have to do it alone. All God is is love and love for you. He wants your greater self to succeed. Let him help you. It is not going to be easy. Cutting off those people that you think are your friends, you have to recognize the toxic relationship that you are in and put a stop to it. They are only dragging you down and preventing you from reaching your fullest potential. So it is up to you to decide if that relationship is worth sacrificing the dreams that you have worked your whole life for. So there you have it, my top two tips for becoming a successful person. And I know that y'all have probably heard these words before, but it never hurts to hear them again. And who knows, maybe someone out there in the crowd today needed to hear my words because they felt their life was off track and now they have what it takes to get back on track. Just remember, class of 2021, after today, we enter the real world and it is not all sunshine and rainbows. But remember, everything comes one step at a time and let's take this world by storm. Thank you. Thank you, JC. Our valedictorian has chosen math teacher, Mrs. Becky Compton, to introduce her. Please help me welcome Mrs. Compton. It is my privilege to get to introduce to you the valedictorian of this year's graduating class. The first trait that probably comes to mind when you think of a valedictorian is intelligence. She definitely has that. However, there are many more traits that make her memorable. The first quality that is apparent as soon as you meet her is joy. This student exudes joy. Even though she is wearing a mask, she can still light up a room with her smile. It is unusual to have a student that happy to be coming to math class. She brightens your whole day. The second quality I would like to highlight is her incredible work ethic. She works hard every day without complaint. When she makes a mistake, she does not give up, but she perseveres until she understands. She has the grit that every teacher loves to see in a student. This perseverance will serve her well in life. Another quality that is apparent is peace. 
She has a spirit of peace in the midst of chaos, and goodness knows high school can be very chaotic. She remains unruffled and serene. This kind of peacefulness is such a rare quality. I hope that she can keep it as she continues her journey through life. The final and maybe most important quality is that she is a fellow Houston Astros fan. Remaining steadfast and true, even when Texas Rangers fans surround her. Beyond just sports team, she stands out with her willingness to be unique and true to herself. I know that we can all respect someone like that. Intelligent, joyful, hardworking, peaceful, and unique are just a few of the fine qualities that makes this student stand out. It is my honor to present to you Northwest High School's Class of 2021 Valedictorian, Taryn Husband. It's windy today. <laughs> Good morning. Before I begin, to all my teachers from the past 13 years, thank you for helping me to grow through my schooling, both academically and personally. And on that note, I would also like to say thank you to all of our parents and teachers for making possible not only this graduation, but the adjustment that was needed to continue our education over the last year. Let's also recognize all the time our media team and NISD staff put in so that we could have the ceremony today. I wanna say thank you to my parents and to my brothers for supporting me through these first 18 years of my life. I wouldn't be here today without y'all and there is nothing more reassuring than knowing that I have a safe, caring environment to return home to every day. And to my grandparents and all my extended family who were able to make it out today or are watching online, it has been a great comfort to know that you're in my corner if I ever need help. Pastor Scott Foster and Sister Jennifer Foster, y'all have been like a second set of parents to me, and I'm thankful to know such a caring couple willing to provide love and guidance and support as I move from one stage of my life to the next. Thank you to my friends at Grace Point Church of Hazlitt for all your love and support over the years. But most of all, I am thankful that an almighty God would robe himself in flesh and sacrifice himself so that I could be free from sin and guilt. God didn't abandon me when I deserved to be forsaken. And in fact, the only reason I'm here right now is because my Savior picked me up out of the mess I was in when I couldn't see a way up myself. No matter the situation in which I have found myself, whether it was out of my hands or of my own making, I've never had to face it alone. My comforter, my counselor, my prince of peace, and my way maker was there with me at every turn working things out when I couldn't see it. And while that much has been constant, the past year threw the whirlwind at us. It brought us pandemic, the hardship of beginning senior year in a different format, and all the tension that came during the election cycle. Things we put our trust in and maybe looked, and maybe even took for granted, faltered. People lost jobs, many lost health, interaction with friends and loved ones became more difficult, and many of the milestones to which we look forward became less realistic. If the past year has proven anything, it's that very little in life is certain. So what do we do? My message to you today is not to discourage, but to encourage you to make up in your mind what matters most to you. And whether it's faith in God or even family, don't waste life away chasing someone else's ideal, someone else's dream, or someone else's definition of success. Neglecting what is most valuable. Ambition is important, but more important is that we would hold on to and cherish the priceless moments whose worth is greater than that of any occupational or monetary goal. And I'm sure that each and every one of us here today can recall many such moments from the last four years, whether they encompass our greatest achievements or just weird lunch conversations with friends. One memory that stands out in my mind is a time when a classmate questioned what exactly our mascot is which is arguably a valid query. Byron's mascot is a bobcat, 
exhibiting fierceness and strength. Steel, well, okay, they don't have a mascot. Eaton is personified by an eagle which soars above Turanian expectations and possesses unrivaled nobility. And Northwest mascot is a Texan. which, for lack of any meaningful symbolism, the freedictionary.com defines as <clears throat> an inhabitant of Texas. So if I live in Texas, that must make me our mascot. Miss Jackson, you live in Texas, so let's, why, what's stopping us from just changing our names to the Northwest Miss Jacksons? Any one of us could be the literal representation of our emblem. But that's just it. What represents Northwest High School isn't just some pretty picture of a majestic creature for us to paint on a gym wall. What represents Northwest High School are the graduates here today who have studied, stressed, laughed, cried, and now enter the world together. What we choose to do with our lives in the future is entirely up to us, but we will always be bound together by what are hopefully the four most memorable years of our lives and the common title, Texan. God bless y'all and thank you for your attention. Class of 2021 was blessed with some gifted speakers, was it not? Thank you, JC and Taryn, for your inspiring words. And I do have a presentation for each of you at this time. So I'd like to present, JC, if you'd approach the podium, I'd like to present JC Field, Jacqueline, Brill, Jacqueline Brienne Fields, with the Salutatorian Award. And then at this time, I'd like to present Taryn Brianna Husband with the Valedictorian Award. Quite a lot of wisdom today from our Valedictorian and Salutatorian, and I'm grateful for that. Students, you guys have heard lots of advice today and over the course of the year as to what you should do beyond this day. Make no mistake. This day is not an end. It's a beginning. It's a doorway to your next achievement and the many more that wait for you in the days and years to come. Seniors, you have worked very hard to get to this day and I'm proud of what you have accomplished so far. Now, what is next? You have talents and abilities unique just to you. Leverage those talents, gifts, abilities, and interests on a broader scale. You've spent the past four years making Northwest High School a better place now you get to work on making our world a better place. You're ready for the charge ahead of you, and I know it. Let's take a moment to celebrate just how well prepared you are for what awaits you after this upcoming walk across the stage in the beautiful red robes. So many of you are already career ready. That means you could walk out of here today and be hired not just for jobs, but for life careers. In just your class alone, over 300 career certifications have been earned, giving you a significant competitive advantage over other graduates. As we saw in our Legacy Awards, many of you were recruited to serve in our armed forces. Seniors, if you are entering our United States Armed Forces, will you please stand and allow us to recognize you? For those of you who are college bound, do you remember all the many hours you poured into writing essays, completing applications, visiting with recruiters, hunting for scholarship dollars? Well, your hard work paid off. You accumulated over $11 million in scholarship offers this year, and I would like to point out that in our Advancement via Individual Determination, or AVID program, our 12 AVID seniors earned over $1 million by themselves. That's something to be recognized. Dr. Warren, would you please join me at the podium?
Dr. Warren and the Northwest ISD Board of Trustees, I stand before you now to certify that these students, the Northwest High School Class of 2021, have satisfied their course requirements according to the guidelines established by the State of Texas and Northwest Independent School District. It is my distinct honor to commend these graduates to you for graduation. Thank you, Ms. Jackson. Seniors, let's do this first. Uh, seniors and guests, I, I know you're aware of this, but guys, literally hundreds of NISD staff members and teammates have worked for weeks to get ready for this day. Hundreds of staff members uh, work the weekend, mostly in the rain, setting up the, uh, setting up the stadium, making sure the video worked, the sound worked. Let's make sure we show appreciation for everyone who worked so hard to, for today. And for our parents, our caregivers, our family members, our, our guests, our friends, uh, thank you, folks, truly. Thank you for being here to celebrate these young men and women. Seniors, we are, we are so proud of you today. Um, in just a couple of minutes, we're going to ask you to come on stage, and you're going to receive your high school diploma. Now, guys, when that happens... Do not assume that we're giving you anything. Ladies and gentlemen, you've earned this. And maybe more so than any other graduates before you, you have truly earned this. Now, here's, here's what I need you to remember. Today is the ending of nothing. This is, this is not your ending. This is just your beginning. And the most important thing that you have to take away from today is, ladies and gentlemen, you have to keep earning everything you're going to have in your life. There's nothing that's going to be given to you. There's nothing that's free in this world. If you show the same desire, the same heart, the same work ethic as you showed for Northwest High School, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to earn the life that you want, and you're going to earn the life that you deserve. You've got so much potential. You show that action, and you're going to earn that life. We're so very proud of you. So, by the power vested in me, by the Northwest ISD Board of Trustees, and the Texas Education Agency, Ms. Jackson, I accept your recommendation. And I now officially certify these Northwest High School seniors as Northwest High School graduates. Congratulations, and let's get the stage ready to confer some diplomas. I'll now ask our trustees to step forward and we will begin the recognition of the graduates beginning with our honor graduates and class officers. Karen Brianna Husband, Jacqueline JC Brianne Fields, Isabella Raquel Malo, Ethan William Zeck, Montana Elise Prather, Madison Elizabeth Lucky. Jack Turner Poe, Kai Pope, Carson Scott Campbell, Samuel Joseph Kendall, 
Emily Green. Mariah Kimberly Maldonado. Rayleigh Nicole Bevel. Carther Wayne Gatlin. Abby Faye Sweeney. Bakari Ramon Ginyard. Rose Elena Polson. Landry Wells Duke. Sienna Vanessa Abbott. Laith Ayed Abu Ajamea. Rhapsody Elizabeth Addington. Yvette Marie Aguira. Andrew Aquino Augustine. Alex Bradley Ahmad. Miriam Akbar. Diego Lance Alcaraz. Delaney Cheyenne Allison. Ethan Daniel Almanza. Alejandro Enrique Alvarez Ocasio. Austin Wayne Anderson. Melissa Ann Anderson. Chase Mackey Andres. Nicholas Joseph Angelini. Kevin Justin Enrique. Britt Nicole Ansel. Emily Graysan Archer. Edward Kuzi Asante. David Anthony Attenda. Dylan Wesley Averett. Bethany Peyton Baker. Hallie Elizabeth Baker. Joshua Noel Ballard. Evie Samantha Baharona. Jenna Rose Barnes. Kelsey Paige Barnes. Caden Lee Barnett. Marcos Barrera. Stephen Jacob Barons. Jaden Isaiah Barrow. Yukana Bassi. Alyssa Faye Bean. Jaquaria Ann Beard. Leslie Rachel Beck. Amber Marie Bell. Marilyn Josephine Benedict. Elizabeth Bermudez. Mateo Catherine Bernard. Kenza Elaine Berthel. Samantha Paige Black. Isaac Jacob Newer Bowles. Israel Bacares. Garrett James Boljack. Chancellor Reese Boring. Mia Marie Boucher. William Clifford Bradley. Davin Charlize Bronner. Carson Bennett Brazil. Haley K. Brocious. Dylan Jace Brock. Michael Ryan Brock. Jonathan Edward Brockway. Anthony Jaquan Broom. Anna Lee Brummel. Samuel Jason Bryan. Kayla Nicole Bumgarner. Audrey Elise Burnett. I can't. 
Edward Burrell. David John Bush. Diego Cadena. Natalia Rubian Coldwell. Ruben Cavillo. Carolyn Emily Candle. Miguel Alejandro Carranza. Jenna Patricia Chapman. Chase Justine. Luis Alberto Chavez. Tyler William Clutter. Anna Claire Coates. Contravius Gerard Coleman. David Christopher Collins. Bailey Marie Kahn. Hannah Michaela Holly Connor. Lauren Shea Connor. Martin Contreras. Cameron Wayne Edmund Cooper. Montana Ray Colston. Alexis Nicole Craig. Cora Ray Cravey. Ryan James Crawford Daly. Blake Aaron Crowley. Jaden Sean Crunk. Seth Don Cruz. Ricardo Angel Cruz. Jesus Gerardo Cruz Lopez. Aaron Christopher Cummings. Lauren Isabella Chekowitz. Jasmine Nicole Dalrymple. Mehar Allison Damon. Bailey Lynn Dardar. India Shay Darling. Mario Delgadillo. Kylie Nicole DeLong. Ryan George Dermagosian. Caitlin Hanako Camilla Drasco. Tegan Janae Driver. Caroline Valentine Smith Duke. Isaiah Thomas Dunning Bowling. Orly Clark Dushaim. Sage Mackenzie Duval. Caleb Evan Dwyer. Gianna Sharice Dyer. Cheyenne Rose Eves. Sylvia Denise Echevarria. Santiago Elizondo. Evan Vep Ellis. Caden Alexander Ellis. Kenneth Logan Ellis. Carla Escobedo. Mariana Juanita Espinoza. Jessica Lee Esquivel. Brody Stephen Echison. Sky Carlene Evans. Julian Rodan Fadul. Tiernan Eugene Fitzgerald. Sophia Dominique Flores. Jonathan Bailey Fargardi. Madison Avery Fortune. 
Rebecca Leanne Voss. Steven Franco. Abigail Jenna Franklin. Rachel Renee Friedman. Charles William Fromm. Hadley Brianne Fry. Kelly Marissa Funk. Alonzo Jesus Galvan. Abigail Nicole Garcia. Raven Paul Garcia. Samuel Joaquin Garibay. Madeline Haven Garner. Abigail Lynn Garza. Casey Renee Gentry. Catherine Grace Gerke. Kylie Ann Marie Gildenblatt. Hunter Dennis Guile. Isabella Rose Glenn. Sophia Brooke Glenn. Kirsten Elise Gonzalez. Adam Gonzalez. Gariel Alfredo Gonzalez Fonseca. Garrett Dwayne Gordon. Brandon Christopher Gordon. Jonah Peter Granados. Manuel Trinidad Granado. Colton Dean Gray. Bryson Ryan Green. Jacob Bradley Griffin. Kaylee Danielle Gross. Blake Dean Grubbs. Monique Guerrero. Justin Guzman. Inez Guaneza. Hannah Bailey Hazlett. Gavin Ryan Halleck. Catherine Ray Hamby. Nikki Matov Hamarahi. Hannah Grace Hamron. Riley Brooks Hansen. Matthew Charles Harnest. Isaac Kelvin Harp. Peyton Ali Hartzog. Hunter Thomas Hayes. Angela K. Nicole Heckert. Dante Josiah Hines. Katrina Joyce Herdeen. Riley Jordan Hernandez. Alexis Henderson. Campbell McKenna Herr. Brianna Beth Herring. Peyton Bailey Hickman. Logan Alexis Higgins. Indiana Cole High. Dylan James Hill. Dalen Rush Horton. Anna Karen Hovius. Charles Earl Hudgens. Ariana Nicole Hughes. Natalie Rose Hudnall. Navea Patience Hunt. Sebastian Hurtado. Tanner Ryan Enfeld. Evelyn Elise Eisen. 
Caitlin and Ivy. Kiamber, Tarasha James. Samantha, Geneva, Rose James. Gabrielle, Jean, Jankowski. Juan Jimenez. Alyssa Francis Johnson. Madison Renee Jones. Reese Yonker Joyce. Jacob Allen Carbock. Marshall Fate Kiesling. Peyton Ann Kent. Ashton Glenn Kerr. Peniel Kabula Goy. Russell Tyler Kimball. Alicia Louise Klepsch. Sanusia Coney. Bryce David Katulik. Audra Nicole Cribs. Lane Mark Lacey. James Ryan Lamb. Robert Max Lankford. Jaden Xavier Lara. Zachary Allen Lassiter. Jason Charles Laster. Kaylee Elizabeth Lavin. Jackson Devlin Lazuri. Abby Edna Leach. Jaden Nicole Lee. Amber Nicole Lafebra. Leonardo Xavier Leon. Kaylin Isabella Lewerke. Cadence Riley Lincoln. Jaren Cade Lindsay. Isabella Nicole Latrell. Zoe Blue Long. Michael Lopez. Nathaniel Gabriel Lopez. Lizbeth Lopez Ramirez. Adolfo Enrique Loyola Colmanero. Matthew Benjamin Luna. George Patrick Lukenhaus. Keegan Odell McGee. Shakira Deha Mallet. Catherine Santos Mandujano. Landon Ray Manning. Diego Alejandro Marin Mandieta. Remington Andrew Martin. Stephanie Martinez. Austin Thomas May. Lady Liz Maya Brenna. Kai Aaron May. Porter McClellan. Gabriel Peter McCullough. Aiden Cole McGregor. Sarah McAfee. Elena Joy McLeod. Shane William McPherson. Ashley Diana Minch. Anna Elizabeth Miley. Caitlin Valora Mitchell. Gavin Anthony Mitchell. Michael Ryan Molina. 
Juan Diego Manares. Camden Lee Moody. Carlos Arath Morales Flores. Christian Stephen Morgan. Matthew Stephen Daniel Morgan. Moses Musio. Joshua Lowell Murphy. Sky Renata Nail. Ronnie Nair. Alexis Andy Naylor. Alan Alex Ndizi. Audrey Ann Nelson. Emma Rose Newbaker. James Harold Newman III. Alexander James Nicholas. Mark Alexander Newkirk. Hayden Chester Nordstrom. Robert Stephen Norton. Sierra Renee Nunn. Michaela Lynn Oakley. Landon Wayne Ogburn. Ryan Luke Oliver. Justin Dylan Orellana. Cecilia Jeanette Ortiz. Josue Danielle Ortiz. Ali Joe Owens. Jaden Bailey Owens. Michael Joseph Ozuna. Brianna Elizabeth Pappas. Abraham Paramo. Renee Marie Parker. Caleb James Parker Pollard. Reed Jackson Pikowski. Grace Nalani Giselle Pensado. Brady Allen Perez. Karen Yvette Perez. Austin Allen Peters. Caden Michael Fuller. Mackenzie Brianne Pickett. Abel Portillo. Devin Lee Pratt. Autumn Brooke Prince. Jacoby Taylor Prince. Mackenzie Lane Puentes. Brian Daniel Pulido. Gabriel Marie Purdy. William Edward Rains. Eric Ramirez Hernandez. Crystal Faye Ramos. Grayson Samuel Randall. Chris Ezekiel Rankin. Shelby Jane Rappert. Jaden Price Reeve. Brooklyn Mary Reed. Caleb Charles Real. Elise Kimber Ruman. Eileen Reyes. Kristen Marie Reyes. Lorenzo Andres Reyes. Michael Anthony Reyna. Mackenzie Lee Richard. 
Alexis, Nicole, Rickman, Jacqueline, Elizabeth, Rico, Angel, Gabrielle, Rios, Aldahir, Rios, Carrillo, Alondro, Morellis, Rivera, Lorenzo, Isabella, Marie, Roa, Shane, Michael, Menar, Roberts, David, Leo, Rocha, Clarissa, Denise, Rodriguez, Juan, Francisco, Rodriguez, Antonio, Rodriguez, Cesares, Braden, Garrett, Rogers, Joseph, Isaiah, Romero, Audrey, Caitlin, Roof, David, Lennon, Rulo, Jaime, Alejandro, Ruiz, Brooke, Ann Rutherford, Lilia Janice Ryerson, Fidel Adrian Salas, Daisy Jeanette Saldivar, Paloma Judith Sanchez, Kedrick Sanders, Michael Dylan Sanders. Nicole Peruda Sandstrom, Linda Esperanza Sanguin, Nicolo Giovanni Santini, Chayton Carl Schluter, Jacob Tyler Schoonover, yeah. Emma Elaine Schwartz. Aiden Drew Shepherd, Weston Cade CD Cheryl, John Philip Sylvie, Warner Thomas Simpson, Jacob Christopher Sims, Kendall Payne Sims. Hunter Ray Singletary. Chanel Skeed. Madison Morgan Sly. Ethan Pierce Smith. Hazley Nicole Smith. Joshua Charles Smith. Oliver Alexander Smith, Scott Alexander Smith, Christavian Deontrez Smith Kelly, Joshua Christian Sneed, Christian Solis, Sarah Rose St. John, Caitlin Marie Stevenson, Emma Claire Stone. Cammy Lynn Streely. Clark Rose Strong the Fourth. Landry Brock Suarez. William Lee Souter. Vivian Lee Swanner. Abigail Faith Taylor. Dylan Gabriel Tellis. Jesse J. Terrell. Ashley Mills Terry. Kendrick Javon Thomas. 
Anna Elizabeth Thornell. Jasmine Nicole Throne. Yvette Esperanza Tinius. Jared De Jesus Torres Mendez. David Tanner Treadway. Carissa Jade Trejo. Phi Bang Truong. Cabea Petit Jose Shabangu. Karen Shalat Shabang. Oh, Shamanga. Margaret Ann McGahan Tucker. Trevor Reese Trumenen. Jeremy Matthew Ulmer. Ubi Del Carmen Valdez. Alejandro Valenzuela. Nathan Alexander Van. Landon Ray Van Skyver. Brandon Antonio Vasquez. Ethan John Vasta. Yvonne Valenzuela McClayla. Luke William Verhu. Jeremiah D. Vasilius. Gracie Marie Villacorta. Aniruda Vinod. Sorry. Evelyn Michelle Volts. Jackson Luke Walters. Michaela Faith Walters. Matthew Wells Ward. Jason Blake Turner. Warner. Amaya Simone Warren. Emma Renee Warren. Amaya Lee Washington. Chandler Blaine Watkins. Cameron Elizabeth Watson. William Reese Waymire. Emma Grace Webster. Troy Alex Weir. Akaya Karen White. Grace Elizabeth White. Noah Lee Wiley. Callie Joanne Williams. Peyton Michael Williams. Kelsey Austin Wilson. Samuel Ryan Wilson. Carter Freeland Cole Winters. Amber Renee Withers. Harrison Clayton Yale. Brecklin McKenna Young. Jordan Ariana Zablotny. Pondra Michelle Marie Ziegler.
Seniors, today is our day and the start to something new. As we celebrate together, it is now my honor, here with the NHS admin, faculty, our family, and our friends, to officially salute the honor of each of us as Northwest High School graduating class of 2021. So seniors, please join me in turning your tassels. Oh. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Before you close this morning's ceremony, I would like to take this last opportunity to say congratulations to both the graduates and the family and friends who have helped us arrive at this moment. High school has been an unforgettable journey filled with iconic, awkward, and difficult moments that have built us into the amazing graduates we are today. I mean, I truly am not the same little freshman walking in circles after Ms. Province class trying to find my second period. Though for me, one of my biggest accomplishments is now knowing where the gym is, I do believe that these past years have taught me more than I can put into words. In high school, we have been pushed past what we thought were our comfort zones and brought into a new way of thinking that would prepare us for the world. Throughout these past four years, we have been waiting for the moment we could walk across the stage and finally say we did it. And well, class of 2021, we have finally made it. And let me tell you, it feels amazing. I want all of you to look back at your past four years with pride because it took hard work and determination. Trust me, I know some days are harder than others, but you still persevered and you have made it here today. Remember graduates, this is not the end of our education, but only the beginning. Now it's time for us to go out into the world to learn, grow, and gain even more knowledge than we thought possible. Before I let you go, I would like to leave you with a quote by Brian Tracy. There are no limits to what we, you can accomplish except the limits you place on your own thinking. With that, I wish you all success in all your future endeavors, and it's been a pleasure being with you all today. Thank you, and goodbye, class of 2021. Now, graduates, stand up as one last time we sing together our Northwest High School alma mater.
seniors you need to go ahead and do your processional out this exit over here. Walk out this way. Processional out through this gate. To your left. By the scoreboard. Proceed, proceed out by the scoreboard. Congratulations to the Northwest High School Class of 2021. Thank you to all the family, friends, and other guests who are here to celebrate with our graduates today. To help us prepare for the next graduation ceremony, we ask that you begin making your way to your car and exit the stadium parking lots as quickly and safely as possible. If you'd like to take pictures around the high school, we ask that you move your cars to the east parking lot in front of Northwest High School along 156. Again, congratulations to the Northwest High School Texans. Thank you for helping us clear the stadium and nearby parking lots. Please drive home safely.